Okay, so we already start uh, this session. Uh, good morning, welcome to this session. Uh, I'm Kok Kukala, Software Director of Rome Semiconductor. Uh, today, I'd like to introduce Linux sensor driver uh, programming with the 96 volt. Uh, my name is Koki Okada. Please call me Koki. Uh, I'm from Japan and now living in Finland to read a software development team. I will first introduce our company and team, and then several sensor driver modules, including sensor UPM driver, sensor IMP driver, Android HAL driver, sensor IIO driver. Uh, at the end of this session, I will introduce our sensor mezzanine board. You can take it away at free of charge. The goal of this session uh, would be to share the overview of several options to implement sensors on 96 volt. Uh, I will shortly introduce our company and team. Rome Semiconductor is a global device supplier. The headquarters are located in Kyoto, Japan, and we have over 23,000 employees in more than 35 countries. We have a strong product lineup which covers both analog and digital ICs, discrete semiconductors, passive components, and modules. I belong to Rome Semiconductor's European branch as a board member and I'm in charge of software development. Our software development center is located in Oulu, Finland, the Nordic Silicon Valley. We develop full stack software, including firmware, device drivers, applications, and algorithms. We also design reference hardware boards. We support a wide range of electronic components which Rome Semiconductor Group provide, including sensors, actuators, <coughs> power ICs, and interfaces. Okay, so let's go to the main agenda. So I will introduce the first sensor platform called UPM. Uh, it stands for Useful Packages and Modules. It provides drivers for multiple sensors and actuators. UPM runs in user space and it access hardware via APIs of MRAA. UPM and MRAA are originally developed by Intel, but it also supports a wide range of hardware such as ARM, MIPS, and so on. MRAA is a C-based Linux library for low-speed I.O. communication with bindings for C++, Python, Node.js, and Java application layers. As you can see in the diagram, the UPM driver runs in user space and it access hardware under the Linux kernel via APIs of MRAA. The MRAA supports iSCSI, SPI, and GPIOs. You can get how to implement UPM MRAA on 96 boards referring to this material, uh, for example. The first URL and the second URL are blogs in 96 boards community site. And the third one is the ROM semiconductor GitHub site, which includes several central drivers based on UPM. <coughs> and the second item is basic for sensor input and Android hard driver. Android provides sensor API as well as sensor manager. However, the sensor hub and sensor drivers in Linux kernel are not provided by Android. So these two parts are needed in order to make sensors work. Input subsystem, as you know, in Linux kernel is a generic Linux framework for all input devices like keyboard, mouse, touch screen. It has been used for sensors as well. 
Uh, I think the sensors became common devices in Linux-based systems, so especially in smartphone, tablet. Before the Linux kernel prepare established APIs for sensors, it might be a reason why many sensor provides, providers like us have been using input subsystem for sensors in Android. Sensor input driver should be implemented in input subsystem as the Linux kernel. Sensor half is located between the Android framework and the Linux kernel. Sensor porting guide for 96 port with the Android is available in Qualcomm developer site, for example, and our sensor input driver is also available in our GitHub site. The last item is the sensor IIO driver. IIO, industry input and output subsystem. The IIO is intended to provide support for ADC, DAX, and sensors such as accelerometers, gyroscopes, pressure sensors, magnet meters, color sensors, light sensors, proximity, proximity sensors, and so on. So hardware monitor subsystem and input subsystem have been used for, for sensors, but the hardware monitor is very much <coughs> directed at low sample rate sensors used in applications such as uh, fan speed control and temperature measurement. And input is originally focused on human interaction input devices. The overall aim of IIO seems to be to fill the gap between the somewhat similar hardware monitor and the input subsystem. IIO driver is a part of Linux kernel as same as the input subsystem driver. So the IIO sensor porting guide for 96 port with Android is also available in Qualcomm developer site. And our proximity sensor driver was upstream to Linux kernel. So you can also use it as a reference. Okay, so yeah, for the today giveaway, so I prepared uh, too many sensor mezzanine board as a giveaway. So this is a 96 volt compatible. Yeah, like this. Uh, it supports uh, our company's five pin sensor board, <coughs> uh, two slots. And uh, it also supports the two slots of the Kyonix 14 pin sensor board and uh, support the growth uh, sensors slot as well. It's not in sales, so just for this event. And uh, you can uh, see and get the, uh, our sensor board such as heart rate sensor, accelerometer, pressure sensor, magnetic sensor, ALS and FOX, color sensor, hole sensor, and temperature sensor. Yeah, thanks so much. So, and I also prepared uh, uh, this postcard. So this is the uh, Lozan Light in Finland. Yeah, please just take it. Thank you so much.